Hey everyone, my name is Sandeep and today I am solving lead code problem 2817 Minimum absolute difference between elements We are given a zero index integer array nums and an integer x and we need to find the minimum absolute difference between two elements in the array that are at least x indices apart So what does that mean? Let's see So basically we need to find two indices i and j in the array nums such that these two conditions are satisfied what are these conditions? The absolute value of the indexes i and j is at least x has to be greater than or equal to x at least x and the absolute value at nums of i and nums of j the absolute value of the difference of nums of i and nums of j is the minimum so that means you have to find a possible pair for which the difference of the index is at least x and the difference between the values is minimum so let's see some examples the first example is the array nums has the values 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the value of x is 3 so let's see what are the possible pairs that are at least 3 indexes apart so I can see the indices are let's say 0, 1, 2 and 3 so the only possible pair which is 3 indices apart is index 0 and index 3 because the absolute value of 3 minus 0 is 3 which is greater than or equal to x and the value of x is 3 so this is satisfied. So what is the value of nums of i minus nums of j? So let's see. So the absolute value of nums of i is nums of nums of zero is one, and nums of three is four. So which is three. So the zero comma three is the only possible pair which is three indices apart, and the absolute value of the value is just three. So our answer will be three here. Let's see for this example. The array nums is 4, 3, 2 and 4 and the value of x is 2. So let's see what are the possible pairs that are, that are at least 2 indices apart. So let's do the indices. So this is 0, index 1, this is index 2, this is index 3. What are the possible pairs? The possible pairs are 1 is 0, 2 because the difference between the pair is 2. We will take the pair 0, 3 because again the difference between them is at least 2. And finally, we will take the pair 1, 3 because the difference is again 2. So these are the possible pairs. Now let's see what are the values at these possible pairs and let's find the minimum of them. So first, the value at 0 is 4 and the value at 2 is 2. And we will take the absolute value of that which is 2. Similarly, the value at 0 is again 4 and the value at 3 is 4. And the absolute value of this will be 0 because 4 minus 4 is 0. And finally, we have 1, 3. The value at 1 is 3 and the value at 3 is 4. And the absolute value of this is 1. So the minimum among these possible answers is 0. So the answer for us is 0. So we will take this pair 0, 3 because the difference between them is at least x and the difference among the values is minimum which is 0. So 0 is our answer. For a detailed problem statement, check the link in the description of the video and pause the video here if you want to think about the solution. Else, okay. let's move on. So we are given two conditions in this problem. The first condition is the absolute difference of the indexes has to be at least x and the absolute difference of the values at those indices has to be minimum. So ideally to solve such problems what I do is I try to remove the conditions and solve the easier version of the problem and then I add the conditions back and see how I can modify the easier version to solve the entire harder problem with all the conditions. So in this case, let's say we remove this entire condition. Now what does the problem become? The problem becomes simply finding a pair of numbers in the array for whom the absolute difference is minimum. So for example, let's say in this array, we need to find an, a, a pair for which the absolute difference is minimum. So the array is 4, 3, 2, 4, 5 and 1. How do you find a pair for which the absolute difference is minimum? One way is I can sort this entire array which gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. So sorting this gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and 5. Once I sort, I can simply find the absolute difference between the adjacent pairs. This gives me 1, this gives me 1, this gives 1, this gives 0 and this gives 1. So the minimum possible values among these differences is 0. So, so 0 will be the minimum possible answer. So that is one way of solving the problem. But now if I add this condition back, the condition was the absolute difference of the indices has to be x at least x. So 
once i sort here the ordering changes right so that means you have to think of something else some other way of solving this problem so one way is so let's say i consider this index as nums of i so let's say i i am think i am saying this particular index is part of the answer is actually nums of i nums of 0 now what is the possible what are the possible values of nums of j what i can take as nums of j so nums of j has to be anything among these remaining sub array which is nothing but 3 2 4 5 1 correct now i have to find the number which is closest to this then only the difference will be minimum correct so for the difference to be minimum so let's say this is the number line for the difference to be minimum i have to either take the lower bound or the upper bound lower bound means the element which is less than or equal to nums of i and is closest to it and is present is present in the sub array similarly upper bound means the element which is greater than nums of i and is ahead of it is greater than x basically so now so let's say all these elements 3 2 4 5 1 what is the lower bound for nums of i nums of i is currently 4 so let's say nums of i that is nums of 0 is 4 so what is the lower bound for 4 let's see so lower bound of 4 is any element which is less than equal to 4 in this entire set so what do we have 2 3 4 so let's plot this we have 2 we have 3 and we have 4 itself and we have 1 here and let's say we have 5 here so the lower bound for 4 has to be any element which is at less than equal to 4 so we have 4 itself because we have 4 here so that means we will take the lower bound as 4 similarly the upper bound is any element in this set which is greater than nums of i greater than 4 the element element which is greater than 4 is 5 himself so we'll take 5 now the absolute difference of these values is which is 4 minus 4 is 0 and the absolute difference between these two values is 1 okay so if i consider 4 as part of the answer then the minimum value that i can make is 0 okay now let's see we will take one more example and we will move ahead with the actual solution then so let's consider for nums of 1 so nums of 1 is 3 now what are the elements in the lower bound so we will take the all this sub array except 3 so we will have 4 2 4 5 1 so we will have 4 2 4 5 1 okay and we will have to find the lower bound is nothing but elements that are less than equal to 3 so we have 2 is the closest element which is less than 3 so we will have here as 2 what is the upper bound for 3 that means greater than 3 in this set which is 4 itself right so now what that what is the difference that we get so 3 minus 2 is 1 and 3 minus 4 is again 1 so because we take absolute difference okay so if you take 3 as the answer the minimum value that i can make is 1 so the idea is for every index we keep all the other elements in the set and always try to find the lower and upper bound so we are iterating through the array which takes n time o of n time and finding the lower and upper bound in a set of elements takes o of log n time this is a very standard operation in any programming language like java or c++ you can use sets you can use tree set in java and we can achieve this so we'll add this condition back and solve the harder problem so let's add the condition back and see what do we have we have absolute difference of indexes has to be at least x so i minus j has to be greater than or equal to x so i is nothing but what x plus j if i consider this value as j okay so now it now j is 0 we have the array as 4 3 2 4 1 so when j is 0 this is the particular value of nums of j okay so what are the possible values of i that i can take i has to be greater than or equal to x plus j so i has to be greater than or equal to x is what the value of x is 2 and j is what 0 so i has to be greater than or equal to 2 so that means i has to be all the index which is greater than or equal to 2 that means 2 3 and 4 so i i can be this i can be this or even i can be this particular index so when j is 0 the possible sub array that i can take is this particular sub array 2 3 4 which is 2 4 and 1 nums of j is 4 because element at index j is 4 okay so let's see in this sub array to, to make the absolute value of the possible difference minimum what do what which particular value i can take so i can I, I, again we will come back to the same problem which is finding the lower and upper bound so that the closest elements we take and we find the minimum difference 
so the lower bound for 4 will be 4 himself lower bound for 4 is 4 itself what is the upper bound for 4 in this particular sub array the upper bound for 4 is null because there is no element greater than 4 so it should be let's say null now what are the possible absolute differences either 4 minus 4 0 or 4 minus null which is basically 0 itself right now 0 is the minimum possible value that I can find if I take this index as our answer now let's move ahead j equals 1 so when j equals 1, this is the particular nums of j which is 3, right? Now, what are the possible values of i again? So which will be again, i must be greater than or equal to x is 2 and value of j is 1. So i has to be greater than or equal to 3. So the sub array is 3 and 4, index 3 and index 4. So we can take this particular sub array 4 comma 1 when j is equal to 1. So for j 1, this is the sub array, this is the value of nums of j. So what is again the lower bound in this particular sub array for value of 3? The lower bound has to be 1. And what is the upper bound for 3? Upper bound for 3 is 4. So either we can do 3 minus 1, 2, or we can take 4, 3 minus 1, 4, which is 1. Absolute difference is 1. So minimum among them is 1 here. So far, for if you take this as this as the possible value of our answer, then one of the indices, then the minimum difference that we can make is 1. Let's move ahead. For j equals 2. For j equals 2, the only possible sub that we can take is 1. Because this has a distance of 2. The difference between these two indexes is 2. Because our x is equal to 2. Okay. So what is the lower bound for 2? The lower bound for 2 is 1. And the upper bound for 2 is null. So what is the minimum difference here? The minimum difference is 2 minus 1 which is 1. Okay. Now for j equals 3. So when j is 3, what are the possible values of i? So i has to be greater than or equal to what? So this is 3 and this is 5. I has to be greater than or equal to 5, but 5 is out of bounds, right? We do not have an uh, array size, we have array size of 5 itself. So, index 5 is basically beyond this. This is because this index is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So, this index does not exist. So, we do not need to compute for j equals 3 because this sub array is empty. What do we come up with? We see that when we gradually iterate over the array, we keep a sub array every time, and this sub array from this sub array, we always remove the elements from the beginning. And we always try to find the lower and upper bound in this particular sub array, which gives us the possible answer. And then you find the minimum among these. So the minimum among these is 0 right now. And 0 is the possible answer. One simplified way of solving this problem is going backward from this particular index and keep adding the elements in the set. That way, you can you just need to add uh, compute the lower and upper bound. And you never remove the elements. So let's move to the coding section of this problem. Okay, so I will quickly walk you through the code. So the function name is minimum absolute difference which gives you an inter integer as a return type and it takes list of integers nums as the parameter and the integer x. I have taken a set now I have an answer I, I have initially initialized the answer as maximum value because ultimately I need to find the minimum. So as I said I will iterate backwards because I, I, I it's easier for me to add element into the set. So I iterate from nums.size minus x minus 1 because that's where the survival starts adding elements and I go till the beginning of the array and every time I go one index backwards. So every time I am adding the element which is j plus x as I said i minus j has to be equal to x so i is nothing but j plus x. So we add the element which is at j plus x as index into the set. Next I compute the lower and upper bounds. So lower is nothing but the element which is less than or equal to nums of j. So in the set the element which is less than or equal to nums dot get j. Similarly higher, higher is nothing but the upper bound for nums of j. So take the set dot higher nums dot get j. Now I get the lower and upper bounds. So I see if simply the lower bound is not null, then just compute the minimum answer. Similarly, if higher is not null, compute the minimum answer by either answer minimum or the absolute difference between those values. Finally, I return the answer. So what is the time complexity for the solution? So let's say the size of the list is n, where n is the size of the list. So we iterate through the entire list. In the worst case, it is size n, so n of so O of n, and every time we are adding to the set as well as finding which is the lower and higher. So these, these operations take log n time in a set if you choose the if you choose the set in Java or something else, so it's log n time. So it's overall n log n, n to iterate through the array and every time you are doing log n operations to insert as well as find the lower and upper bounds. So the time complexity is O of n log n and the space complexity is O of n because we are storing a set of n elements in the worst case. If you still have any doubts, uh, add a comment, I will try to reply to them. And if you learned something today, Feel free to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.